Imagine someone telling you they can offer the specific forecast for a day one month, two months, or even three months in the future. They say they have information about the sky cover, the high and low temperature, and the precipitation forecast down to a hundredth of an inch. If it sounds too good to be true, that's because it is. A 2019 paper by more than half a dozen atmospheric scientists showed that you can only predict sensible daily weather details about a week and a half in advance. But popular weather vendor AccuWeather has made a mission of offering ultra-long range forecasts. AccuWeather touts issuing forecasts of the greatest accuracy, serving hundreds of TV, radio, and newspapers all around the world. On October 12, 2019, they posted an article calling for 0.42 inches of snow in Salt Lake City on November 18th, more than five weeks in advance. That same article also included a specific snow forecast for Christmas Day in Detroit, and their 90-day forecast for the same time in Washington, D.C. calls for 0.29 inches of rain on New Year's Eve. In the past, they've tried to predict peak tornado season with one less tornado than normal. Now let me be perfectly clear. Predictions of this nature so far in advance are not scientifically possible. In fact, one meteorologist referred to them as horoscopes. In a statement provided to the Washington Post in February 2019, AccuWeather cited a three-year study that ranked them as, quote, the world's most accurate source of weather forecasts in the categories of wind, precipitation, and high temperature. What they didn't mention was that this report tracked forecasts made only up to five days in advance, not 30, 60, or 90 days. The company has repeatedly refused to provide verification evidence displaying the accuracy they claim in their long-range forecasts. Now, generally speaking, if something can't be proven, it's not true. That's how science works. In 2013, a professor at Penn State performed his own analysis of AccuWeather's then 45-day forecasts. The Washington Post published this study in 2013. The analysis found AccuWeather's forecasts showed negative skill beyond 9 to 11 days, meaning their predictions were less accurate than you get just by looking at historical averages. This was true virtually across the board. Several additional studies confirm the same. Now, AccuWeather continues to insist there is value in publishing these long-range deterministic forecasts. A deterministic forecast is a prediction that includes specific numbers rather than percentages, probabilities, or ranges. The American Meteorological Society also has urged that providers should not imply that extended range forecasts beyond eight days are as reliable as short-range forecasts by offering the same amount of detail. AccuWeather does exactly that, and does it anyway. Meteorologists fear that this undermines scientific credibility of the industry as a whole. AccuWeather has repeatedly dodged requests to explain how and why they produce these forecasts, claiming the information is proprietary. But they're missing one key thing. The most important part of the scientific method is having a replicable process that can be studied. Unless a method can be repeated by scientists, it cannot be verified as having any skill. AccuWeather, whose name literally involves the word accurate, also appears to have conflated accuracy versus precision. They produce extremely precise forecasts, but that doesn't necessarily mean they're accurate. For instance, I can write my online dating profile, I'm 6 feet 2.1817 inches tall. Now that's very precise. After all, look at all those decimals. But it's not accurate. I'm only 5'6". More information doesn't mean better information. It's about making sure things add up. Anyone can make a forecast, but making an accurate forecast has its limits. Limits that are governed by science and physics. For the Capital Weather Gang, I'm meteorologist Matthew Capucci.